let's keep that conversation moving because we got to address the concept of do we overreact to blogger photos? Is this healthy? Is this normal? I feel like it's probably yes to both <laughs> because it's probably yes, we do overreact. Is this healthy? Probably not. Is it normal? Yes, because I think we do this on social media in general. This is not, this is goes way beyond collecting. I've mentioned the example of we read headlines and we make, we formulate an opinion based on a headline that we see from a news outlet. We, you know, see a video title and we all automatically make up our opinion about that video before we even watch it, right? This is something I think that we all tend to do with social media because our attention span is very short. So we look at things and we're just like, huh, already made a snap judgment on that without really having to do too much, right? Um, right. I think I do this. I think we all do it. I think it's just part of our culture at this point because of how fast paced our life, our lives move. So that's something I think is factoring in, but I want to share an example with you. We can go over Loki again, but I want to give another one. That's a little bit older. This one. Mm, so no doubt while this is not a 10 out of 10 head sculpt, no doubt. And I look at this head sculpt and I'm like, it's pretty good, but not great. Originally you guys remember when this came out, it was an absolute shit show. Everyone was really yeah. upset. Everyone was like, this is terrible, really atrocious. Mm -hmm. But then reviewers started getting in hand. Everyone was like, hmm, is this actually a grail sculpt? Like, yeah. and, it, and it turned like 180 really quickly. And I was like shocked to see how quickly that turned for a character that people, most people probably, they claim they don't like, right? So then when uh, people started buying this, you know, they, they didn't really want it. They just wanted it because reviewers were saying it was a really good head sculpt. And they were like, maybe I should want it, right? It was really right. interesting. So I want to share this as an example and jump to, uh, jump to you, Marco. Do you think we re overreact to bloggers for uh, blogger photos? And if so, is this healthy? Is it normal? What are your overall thoughts? Yeah, we 100% re overreact to blogger photos. I think it's just part of the hobby. Um, for me, I know every figure that comes out, if it, was, if it was up to me, I would get just about every hot toy there is. If I had unlimited space, unlimited budget, but I'm always looking for reasons to not get a figure. So I've got to analyze like every little piece of data that I have to be like, you know what, actually I don't need this one. Mm -hmm. And so this Ray is a terrific example because this is one I ultimately ended, it ended up in my collection. But when these first photos came out, I was like, ah, you know, bummer. I was kind of, this is probably my last opportunity to add a Ray. I was looking forward to this figure. It's just not hitting the mark. And so I was kind of on, I mean, I didn't go on social media and post about how upset I was, but, you know, internalized, um, you know, kind of my disappointment. So to, to your point of, is it healthy? Probably not. It's probably not healthy for our <laughs> mental health or, <laughs> you know, to be so, yeah. to, to have these really severe emotions when it comes to toys or whatever we're reacting about on social media. Uh, a good example, I'm a, a big sports fan. And so the teams that I root for, I will follow, you know, people on Twitter that are talking about them. In the comment section, like every play, people will be so up and down, right? It's like, it's just the nature of, of like, well, like you're saying, social media. Like people yeah. will just be like so depressed one second, so over the moon the next. It's just kind of this ebb and flow. And it's part of being a fan of, of any really, you know, hobby, I would say. So, um, yeah, you just got to learn how to, you know, level off those expectations. Also, if, you know, you're kind of feeding into this loop of reading the negative comments and then joining in and getting those negative feelings, mm -hmm. maybe it's a good opportunity to take a step back from social media and just be like, you know what? It's okay. It's not that big a deal. They're just toys. It's just sports. But uh, let me get off my soapbox for a second here and uh, just say, is it normal? Yeah, I, I think it's totally normal and just, you know, a sign of our society. Um, but again, for me, it's I'm overreacting because I don't want to spend the money if I don't have to. So that's really why I overanalyze every little detail. Yeah. And it's interesting because when I look at this photo, this is another example. And a lot of people in this specific photo say that they loved it. But I remember at the time very vividly that people <laughs> hated this because they were saying there was something wrong with the lips. The eyes were off. Something was wrong in hand. This head sculpt is stunning. This is really yeah. one of Hot Toys best. I feel not quite Yondu, but it's very close. I feel like it's a really, really good head sculpt. But Riley, same question. Do we overreact to blogger photos? Is it healthy? Is it normal? What are your overall thoughts? Yeah, I'd probably say that we we definitely do overreact. But I mean, I've fallen I've fallen victim of this as well. I know there's yeah. I mean, even in recent in recent ones was the um, the Doctor Strange. When I saw that at first, I was like, when I saw the photos, because I, I always I always look at the Hot Toys blogger pictures. That's obviously that's our first impressions of when we're finally going to see the final product and. At first, I was like, "Yeah, I was like, I don't know, something looks off. Like, I don't know, it looks different than what the uh, Infinity War one was." But I, I think again, like we talked about, I think that 
blogger pictures i wouldn't really judge them like primarily off the blogger pictures because there's a lot of different saturation there's a lot of different things that are happening editing etc so what i do is now I, honestly i just wait for when um either sideshow or obviously if a, a first batch hong kong r- reviewer posted justin or anyone else posts <laughs> a head sculpt and this this is an interesting one. i found this on reddit i don't <laughs> I know where to- it, I, it, was, it showed up on reddit so when i oh typed in hot to tony stank this popped up so okay well yeah that's perfect <laughs> one that you can show the tony stank's one that i mean i definitely that that one probably did need to get improved. I know that that was that was more of like that, that, that was one a, was off. Yeah. yeah, that one was definitely. <laughs> that one's off. wild because it's just so different from what they showed with the prototype. Right. It's like right. exactly. completely different figure. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. Like sometimes the, with with the Hong Kong photos, I don't really judge it as much anymore. Because yeah, I saw that Doctor Strange one that just released, and I was like, it looks weird. Like his eyes look really small. Like there was something off or something. I didn't like it. But then. When Sideshow posted the first look, literally like an hour after, I was like, oh, okay, this looks, this looks fine, just fine. It looks just like the Infinity War one. So for me, I'm, I'm trying to kind of set myself to wait for the actual official reviews to come out. And I think, Will, you talked about this too. Like a lot of people who do get them in hand, a lot of them just take the photos like from like all the way up at their forehead. And it just like looks very off to how it actually looks in person. So, right. and, and this is a perfect, <laughs> just a lot, a lot of misses here out showing on the, on the docket here for me Bradley, to talk We about. can't fix this one. We can't yeah, explain this one. There's nothing to do. Like those teeth, yeah. man. What, what were they doing? Man? But um, yeah, I'd say we do overreact. I'd, I'd say that it is normal just because like what Marco was saying, it kind of happens normally through social media, but I'd say that we should try and like wait till the actual official reviews come out. But I know it's, it's hard because that's, that's the only thing we're seeing from the final product so far, but yeah, it's interesting to talk about. Yeah. And sometimes you got to make a snap decision, you know, like I, I've always been of the belief that I don't feel like you necessarily need to see a figure in hand to make an accurate judgment on it. You can see photos, yeah. you can see video, as long as I guess you have a couple different avenues of, of resource that that's what I feel like is pretty important. Right. right. But, um, we can't, we can overreact to some, if they're especially egregious, maybe you think that Logie is egregious, maybe, right? Yeah. I don't necessarily, but I think it's definitely right. not a perfect one. But this Ant Man is pretty egregious. But even we can like all the, agree with even that. Even like the Doc Ock, you can say that was the prototype. Yeah, photos. Well, that we could look at that, that and yeah. the Peacemaker body. Remember that? That wasn't yeah. a blogger photo. I guess kind of it was a promo, a proto uh, promo photo. But I would say yeah. with this Ant Man and Tony Stank, you can look at those and be like, all right, that's not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> that's not right, okay. Right, you can't right. do that to me because this yeah. Ant Man, they really fucked this one up. Um, yeah. I mean, you can always put the helmet on them, but it's, it's, you know, so, right. but yeah, I, I think it's to answer the question. I'm with you guys. I think we do it. Is it healthy? Probably not. Is it going to continue? Probably just because yeah. of just how we are. Right. And I just have to say like, just everyone relax, right? It's the blogger photos are one data point to Riley's point, right? right. Wait for the in-hand reviews. Wait till you see other uh, collectors kind of post pictures, do your right. own homework. If you're going to spend the money on it and, and don't try to overreact to just one set of photos. Yeah. I agree. 